What is up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It is the Greenest Lantern, also known as Paul in real life, and uh, this video is going to be a tutorial video on how to make Windows 7. And if you have Windows 8, I might might not do a video on Windows 8 on this. Um, this is to do with Windows 7 um, on how to make it blindly blindly fast okay so right now let's just get rid of that we don't need porn go away porn yep leave the page whatever all right so first what you got to do all right what we're going to do now is we're firstly going to do this we're going to go here my computer we're going to go system properties and then we're going to go to where it says advanced system settings okay now this is going to look intimidating but bear with me it's not that intimidating um, now what you're going to do is you're going to go to it's already going to come up with advanced okay so after that you're going to go to where it says see how it says performance visual effect uh, visual effects processor processor schedule memory usage and virtual memory okay now these three things here this last one you're not going to touch but these two you are okay moving on so first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on the virtual visual effects and you're going to adjust everything for best performance okay so what you're going to do is everything's going to be unticked and you're going to adjust it for best performance mm. okay so it'll just give you a little please wait uh, if you didn't see that yeah and you're going to go here Mind you, if you've got a gaming system and uh, you want to do this with a gaming system, yeah, that's fine. You can totally do that. Highly recommend that you don't because, well, it's a gaming system and you can put out such better graphics with that. But it'd be better if you just leave it the way it is. Next, you're going to click on the same thing again. And you're going to go to Advanced. Okay? Now, adjust for best performance. You're going to leave that like that. You're not going to, you're not going to touch that. Um, now you're going to do paging files. Now what a paging file does is um, it allows the hard drive, it, it stores different, it, it stores paging files within your RAM, right? So let's say you've only got 4 gigs of RAM. Now that 4 gigs of RAM has to do other things. So you can't necessarily have 4 gigs of RAM only devoted to, well, paging files. So it's got to store because RAM also stores in uh, programs like Chrome and all your desktop icons, stuff like that. Right now, I've just uh, created a fresh install of Windows on this laptop, and uh, so there's not really much I can do on this, but uh, it would make it a little bit better for you. So what you're going to do is you're going to uh, untick this, okay, and you're going to go custom size. You're going to make it at about maybe 512. 512 is good enough, so it won't give you fucking bad problems. But, uh, oh shit. Bad, tw yeah, bad 512 is going to give you enough, but it's not going to give you freaking... It's going to give you... A, sorry, it's going to give you enough so you can do whatever you have to do, but it's not going to clog up things. Okay, let's just keep it at that. Uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it 510, okay? You can put it to 510, 510 to 512, whatever suits you, okay? You're going to save that, you're going to go OK, uh, it's going to come up with this here. It's going to come up with the changes you have made required to restart the computer before it takes effect. So obviously you are got to, yeah, do that. So you're going to apply, OK, and you're going to do that. I just wanted to, want to see if it was quickly doing something. So, uh, yeah. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, there we go. Next, you're going to go to System Protection. Now, System Protection is um, something... It's got nothing to do with viruses. It's got nothing to do with virus protection. Uh, this is all to do with restore points and whatnot. Now, this here takes up a massive chunk. When I say a massive chunk, I mean a massive, massive, massive chunk of, um, of storage within Windows. So what you're going to do, um, yeah, so what this does is it allows the disk to use system protection, which 
allows it to also have um, restore points. It's, it allows you to create restore points. So what you're going to do is you're going to press turn off system protection. Mind you, the only thing that's going to happen with this part is you will not be able to restore something. Right, so if you've got multiple hard drives, I suggest turning it off Windows on your C drive. But if you've got D, E, F, G, if you've got like a thousand other hard drives, keep them on the other hard drives but keep it off C drive because well yeah but in this case I've only got one drive so I'm going to <clears throat> I'm going to well um, yeah delete that so I'm going to delete the restore points mind you if you don't you don't have to delete your restore points but um, it will <clears throat> delete all your restore points and stuff like that so after that I'm just gonna I'll come back in a minute and I'm back guys um, yeah uh, automatically it's the thing it, it would automatically say the restore points were deleted successfully so you're gonna close that you're gonna apply it yep uh, are you sure you want to turn off system protection on this drive blah 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 yep okay I've already explained it you're gonna click OK now um, what else can we do to it okay uh, we're gonna go to device manager now um, uh, device manager. We're gonna. Sorry, we're not gonna do that. We're going to click OK. Uh, it will also come up with restart now or restart later. Whatever you do, just because we're still because I'm doing the rest of this video, um, I'm gonna restart later. Uh, another program that you're going to want to download is CC Cleaner, which will be in the link description below in the doobly do. Um, it'll come up with uh, user access, user account control, which I personally think is absolute bullshit. And we're going to close this down. Okay, now what CC Cleaner? I've got the troll version. I'd recommend, but I'd recommend trying out the troll version and purchasing the troll version. It's fantastic. I've had no problems with it. Um, I will be as soon as this finishes. I will be buying the uh, the uh, the full version. So yeah, anyway, as I said, this is just being created, so there might not be that much stuff on there. So we're going to analyze this quickly. Now this is going to find all the junk files, and it's going to clean up all the gunk and shit that you have on your PC. All your file, all your temporary files, all your cookies, all that stuff. Um, all that, all that stuff. It's going to make it all, you know, nice and fast for you. Okay? And I'll be back once it finishes. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, sorry if I'm pausing randomly in this video. Um, I do apologise, but uh, I just don't want you to wait forever and this and that and whatever. So I thought it'd be better if I just do that. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Um, now, uh, automatically it's um, found only 154... Whoops. 154 megabytes of uh, 154 megabytes are, uh, apparently needs to be removed, and that's including the cookies and the cache. And yeah, now what cache is is cache is within your CPU, so that's a big, big, big improvement. So if you do, and you can cut, also you'll be able to cut some boot time off this as well. So if your boot time is is like two minutes or three minutes, there's there's a big, big chance that you're uh, gonna probably get some. Uh, uh, some bad bad things going on here so um uh yeah so after this after this finishes i'll move on to something else but yeah um this will definitely shade off some boot time a couple of seconds off on boot time but uh i know you might be thinking a couple of seconds might be um a lot stupid and whatnot but believe me you'd be very surprised um uh at what what um what it means though you know you'd be very 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 surprised at uh, the fact that um, boot time is actually a lot even by a couple of seconds it's actually a lot better so next after that like I said um, if you want this is not option this is optional you don't have to um, you don't have to uh, delete your network passwords and your save passwords because um, let's be honest I personally think I do that I like that because um, well yeah I don't want key logs on my PC but, uh, or my laptop rather, laptop PC. So, yeah. Um, 
yeah, but like I said, you don't have to do it, but I'd recommend that you do it, but whatever. Okay, now you're going to go to Applications, and you're going to do, I'm going to remove this as well, I'm going to remove my saved passwords, because I don't like having saved form information and compact databases and shit like that on here, uh, especially with your name, I'm going to remove that too. Now, this is going to remove, it's removed nothing because like I said, it's just a system that I've just created, so there's nothing really here. Now this is really, really interesting. What CC Cleaner Professional actually does with the registry is it finds different registry keys that are not a very good, not in very good standard. So it scans for the issues, right? It'll scan for your issues here. Right now, I don't reckon, uh, I don't think I have any issues. Oh, there you go. I do have issues. What do you know? Okay. So automatically, it's already found one, two, five, six, seven, eight issues, right? So far, like I said, it's got eight issues. And um, what I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to fix the issues. Yeah. Um, go ahead and make a backup of that. Uh, you can put it in my documents and make it clean, uh, clean CC cleaner reg file, so it just saves it. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, yeah, and you want to make sure that uh, you do it twice because sometimes it does come up with more than one. So make sure you do it twice and whatnot. So yeah, so yeah, it's all done. You've got nothing here, nothing else wrong with it. So you got tools now. All right. So what tools does here? I'm not gonna insert your intelligence but uh, tools is uh, well you can uninstall things you can fix your startup your file finder uh, you got driver wiper which initially drive wipes your drive system restore uh, well because we turned off you know like I said if you've got I'm gonna I'm not I'm gonna I'm not gonna take um, fault in this if anything happens to that but I did tell you at the start of the video if you've got one hard drive um, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you've got more than one hard drive and your Windows is on the C drive, I'd recommend turning it off and just storing it on the rest. So yeah, but if you've got the one, don't worry about it. So you're going to go install, we've got startup. Now startup, we've only got two things here for us, nothing nothing too major. Internet Explorer, pfft, moving on. <laughs> uh, who cares about Internet Explorer? Uh, we've got all this stuff that uh, doesn't need to be you know, done up here. So like when Google updates, see all this stuff? We've got YouTube. We don't need this on startup. This is also gonna shade off a couple of things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that whatever you've got, I tend to just turn off, because I don't like having it on my startup, especially when I use Google Chrome. I don't like using Google Chrome and I don't want it to be as slow as a fucking turtle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Quickly do that, and I'm going to go into advanced mode. You don't have to go into advanced mode, but it's recommended. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're just going to delete the rest of these schedules because we don't need schedules for now. Uh, schedules does take a, a load of boot time up and whatnot, so I would recommend not doing that. Um, what else can we do? Oh, yeah, drive wiper. Okay, drive wiper, if you don't know, is a. Um, a central little program within CC Cleaner that wipes your drive, <laughs> which I wouldn't recommend doing if you don't want to screw up your PC. So um, yeah, alrighty. So now that we've done that, let's move on to something else, shall we? All right, I'm using so far great program, nothing wrong with it. I went I went out and bought this program. Um, uh, I went out and bought this program. I went out and um, I will be buying, I'm going to buy the rest of this program definitely. Um, I have to activate my product quickly, so I'm going to, not going to go ahead and do that, but I'm going to, because uh, it means that I'm going to share my stuff, but yeah. Um, we're going to run a quick scan now. Uh, I'd recommend getting um, ESET Node 32 Antivirus 7. It's definitely better than Norton, definitely better than all those other bullshit crappy systems. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to run a smart scan, and what a smart scan is going to do is it's going to, it's just a little quick scan because no one wants to sit here and do full scans all day. So um, yeah, just run a couple of quick scans and um, you should be good to go. Automatically we've found some hibernating, some um, some error, error opening files, 
some boot sector files we found some some stuff like that um so yeah and um, what well, well that's going on we're gonna well, that's oops yeah so we're automatically we're gonna we're gonna do that so we're gonna quickly go to setup check this out this is a really good program um i do have a review coming up of this uh a review a little overview of this uh of this uh, antivirus and how good it can be with um with you know viruses and whatnot currently i used to currently i find that malware bytes did another great program and so was uh, microsoft security essentials but certain people have linux and they don't want to use microsoft security essentials so the best thing you could use is malware bytes fantastic program i've got nothing wrong with that um I did purchase malware bytes, but nothing, nothing wrong with it. Great program. So yeah, um, well that's doing this little thing. It'll be done in a few seconds. Should be done in a few seconds, at least I think so. Yep, 98, 99. It's found a couple of little things here. Nothing too major, but it's found a couple of things. It'll uh, if there is something that needs to be that is a big threat. It will automatically uh, put it to, if you go to tools, you'll see it says quarantine, and it'll come up in the quarantine section here. So, um, yeah, uh, wait for this to finish. Um, yeah, we've got protection status and stuff like that. Like I said, it's a very, 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 very good program. I'd recommend um, downloading the free trial and if you need to download the better trial I'd recommend uh, yeah downloading that also I have had some requests saying what program do I use to record um, I use um, Camtasia recorder um, I did used to use hypercam 3 but I noticed that it was really CPU intensive so um, I am using it at this current time so bear with me so uh, yeah um, it's a really good program like I said and that should be done by now I guess no it's not done so give me a second guys and I'll be right back and I am back guys sorry about the long wait oh, sorry about the two seconds for you actually um, but as yeah as it was scanning I thought um, I'd go and purchase the uh, node node what's the name so yeah I officially have a full system thing yeah now I've also yeah I've got some other things I want to show you too so uh, with node so yeah mm -hmm. all right now that that's all done what we're gonna do is we're just going to go okay and we are going to click on going to go on something now if you don't know what it is I'll explain it a bit more in uh, further detail if I remember what the fuck to write now um, what the hell is it called Called, it's called something. Um, MS config. Got it. There we go. So first, no, that's right. You're going to type in MS config, right? Now, what MS config is, is it's going to do a certain reboot of your system, and it's going to eliminate anything that you don't need as a startup potential. So now, right, what we're going to do is we're going to go to startup, right? So far, we've got nothing here because, as I said, uh, services, sorry, that's what we want. Uh, services, we're going to get rid of some stuff on services, right? So I'm going to make this A, okay? Um, and feel free to go along as I, as I go along. Um... Apple mobile device, so I'm going to uninstall that because I'm not using that. Uh, what else? 
Bluetooth support. I'm gonna take that off because I'm not using Bluetooth support. DHCP um, client. I need that disk defragmenter, which I'll get into a lot. Which I'll get into a lot, uh, a lot more a bit later in the video. Uh, uh, yes, we're going to keep that. Fax, we're not going to use fax. Let's piss off fax. Uh, Google Update Services, we'll keep that. What's this? Uh, let me just put this up a little bit here, like that. Uh, group policy chat. Uh, God, we don't want group policy. Sorry, group, group policy client, we're not going to use that. Home group listener, we're not going to use that. Home group provider, we're not going to use that because we're not using any home groups. Um, especially if you're a gamer, if this is a gaming PC. Um, uh, iPod, ser actually, no, we'll keep iPod service. IP helper. Yeah, we're not going to care about IP helper. Um, that's what we've got here. Net log, we're going to keep net log. Offline files. Parental control. We're going to take off parental control because I'm not a parent. I don't need parental control. Um, PR networking grouping. We're going to keep that. Um, remote desktop configuration. Not going to use that. Remote desktop services. Not going to use that. Remote procedure, call, locator, um, yeah, we'll keep that just in case. Uh, server, smart card, SMMP trap, so storage client, da, 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 da. tablet input service, we're not going to use that. If you are using a tablet and it's, well, then I'd recommend keeping it on, but I'm not using that, so I'm not going to keep it off. Uh, telephony, I'm gonna take that off. I don't know why it's even in even in Windows 7. Um, virtual disk. Uh, I don't know if I want to keep that. Um, well, I am running a virtual system very shortly, so I will keep that. Web client, Windows Audio. Yes, yes. Windows Backup. I'm not gonna be using that because Windows Backup is fucking horrible. Uh, what else are we gonna do? Uh, Windows Defender, yeah, no worries. To totally, totally, totally keep Windows Defender. <laughs> yeah, I, I was kidding. That was sarcasm. Don't keep Windows Defender. It's one of the worst fucking programs you'll ever get. Um, Windows Firewall, keep that because it's the only fucking thing that keeps you alive within Windows. Uh, Windows Media Center. We're not going to be using Windows Media Center services, so let's fucking Windows Media Player Network Sharing Services, not going to be using that. Um, Windows Search, one of the most useless fucking things in Windows, so totally take that off. Windows Time, Windows Update, yeah, one of the worst bloody programs you'll ever get. Um, workstation, uh, we're not going to be using Workstation. Because uh, this is a laptop, so yeah, now we're just going to hide all of the Windows things. Uh, Bonjour, sir. Bonjour, I should say, service is actually an Apple thing. Uh, you don't have to, but uh, I personally don't like it, so you can untick it if you really desire. Steam client service, we can keep that. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, BitLocker service, Windows Audio. Let's go back once more just to double check. Application Identity, Apple Mobile Device Application Management. <sighs> Computer Browser, burn. Offline Files, Defragmenter. We're going to be, like I said, I'll get into that in just a minute. Uh, huh. Okay, now um, I'm going to be right back, guys. Uh, it's going to ask me to reboot my PC. I'll be right back with um, with some general things. Okay, as it says, 
Actually, no, I'll just exit without restart, actually, and then I'll restart the PC all at once. So, after that, what else can we do? Um, oh, yeah, that's right. We can go to, where is it? Open control panel. Uh, we're going to go systems and security. Uh, we're going to go to Windows firewall. So go out the Windows firewall. It's gorgeous. Don't give a fuck. We're going to go advanced settings here. Let's see what we can do with this. Double click if we have to. Double click. Come on. God, this is really, this is actually slow a little bit. I do have four multiple things coming up now. Um, you want to make sure that you've got your firewall on. If it's not on, it'll just normally come up as that. But definitely keep it on, uh, regardless if it's a Windows firewall and it's poop, I know. But keep it on. You want to make sure that uh, you're getting as much uh, security as possible. So, yeah. Um, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to find out the outbound rules. Yay, outbound rules. God damn wrapper rules. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to go Windows Media Player Network Sharing Service. We're going to delete that. Because we really don't want that on there. So, yeah, we're just going to delete as much as we can off here. Uh, wireless portable devices. We're going to keep all these. We're going to keep peer to peer. I'm not going to explain what peer-to-peer -peer is, because uh, I'm going to be here all day otherwise, and it's already at 26 minutes, so I've got a lot of editing to do. So yeah, um, that is about it, I guess, for that. Monitoring, and last but not least that we're actually going to do is... Do, 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 is uh, we're gonna do this? We're going to go personal. Uh, two things we're gonna do after that. Sorry, second last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the Windows color to Windows Basic. Very, very, very basic Windows Classic color. Saves time. It's just a lot easier. Um, yeah. So we're just gonna do that for Windows color. So yeah, we're just gonna make this as as best as possible. Make it as as generic and, and, and easy as possible. Uh, we're gonna get display now. Make sure we're gonna. That's oh, our display. We're gonna sorry, get out of that. After after we just all like this, and you'll notice you shade a couple of time times off. Next, we're gonna quickly go directly to um, our. Um, we're gonna right click on here. Right click. On your C drive or whatever whatever drive that you have and uh, you're gonna go where it says properties and you're gonna just disk clean up give it a bit of a clean it's, yeah you know it's pretty self-explanatory not gonna sell your intelligence so yeah and already running at 28 minutes it's okay so we're just gonna quickly just delete all these old yucky files that we don't need and it's already removing 1.4 megs so we're gonna go OK and click that delete files and we're just gonna delete all those temporary files and all those thumbnails that we don't need next we're gonna go to tools and uh, normally I'd say um, check right now for disk errors but because um, for the people that don't have multiple drives you can't really do that so uh, I'd recommend not doing that and just click if you check it now um, what it'll do is it will check it on the next boot up so yeah um, what you're gonna after that what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to defragmenter this is the last step go to defragmenter defragmenter was scheduled by another program Reef setting Okay, and we're going to open this up, and it's 0% fragmented, we're going to analyze the disk, see if there's any fragmented pieces and stuff in here, even on the recovery, we want to make sure that there's nothing recovered there, so we're going to, yeah, there's nothing there, we're going to make sure it's all that there and stuff, I'll be right back once this finishes, alright, 
I'm back guys. Um, there was nothing wrong with that. It was all perfectly fine and god it's all going for about 30 minutes almost so there is some editing to do. Um, yeah, so um, that's it. Um, apart from that, just follow those little tips and um, you'll have windows looking... Oh yeah, sorry, and, and um, after you finish all this stuff, remember to um, restart your PC. And yeah, uh, remember to um, uh, follow these little simple tips and yeah, so uh, you're all good. Alright guys, um, don't forget to subscribe, like the video and uh, share this with your friends. So um, yeah, so... Hmm. Alright guys, this is the Greenest Latin, signing off.